In a surprising turn of event, I finished this month's tri vlog read in pretty record time. It does help that it is a children's book. This video will be reviewing Harriet the Spy by Louise Fitzhugh. I borrowed this ebook from our library, which is awesome. Love that system. And here are my thoughts. I actually ended up reading this kind of by coincidence after the Veronica Mars book, and so I would definitely consider the Veronica Mars kind of spying my modern day, like, spy realm. But I definitely remember watching the Harriet the Spy movie and really enjoying it when I was a kid. So I was kind of interested to read that after Veronica Mars just to see, like, where I've come from. And I don't believe I had ever read the Harriet the Spy book. I mean, I might have. But I definitely remember watching the movie. And I definitely don't remember the story being as it was, or I interpreted it different as a kid. The overall plot is about this girl named Harriet. She is 11, I believe, somewhere around there. And she wants to be a spy, and so she goes around her neighborhood and kind of peeks into windows and finds like different routes she can go on just to kind of spy on people and write down notes. And she pretty much just writes down everything that she thinks in a notebook, and the things she thinks aren't very kind. Or usually aren't very kind. Being an adult interpreting the story, I found Harriet very annoying and kind of like a rich, spoiled brat. I mean, she had a nanny and a cook, and she was very out of touch that, like, she'd make fun of sport because, like, he did chores, and it just kind of bugged me because she was so bratty and kind of mean. Like, if you write down mean things in a journal and someone finds that journal because you take it with you everywhere, then you kind of deserve people getting mad at you. I mean, pretty logical learning situation, but I guess that's what it was exactly. It was a learning situation. About the first 30% of the book, there was just no plot. She was just going on her spy routes, and yeah, there were a little like, oh, the plot could go this way or the plot could go this way, but it just seemed kind of like no driving plot factor that really made me want to keep reading. So that was kind of a bummer. I've read other kids' books where from page one, you're just like, oh, I want to know. Um, but this was definitely slowly developing into some kind of problem that Harriet would face. Once the plot did come, it was kind of like little kid drama. And yeah, I do appreciate that because I definitely remember going through that. But at, reading it as an adult, I was just like, oh, get over yourself. I gave this book, I believe, two out of five stars, which on Goodreads means it was okay. And I think that's really what it was, at least in this time of my life. I still do remember that movie. I mean, it's stuck around, um, but it's a little too little kid, like, drama, broadly spoiled rich kids. I enjoyed looking back, checks off a space on the reading bingo, and you know what? There's a reason why books can be written for little kids and have little kid drama, because then it teaches little kids a lesson about how to handle themselves and not to write mean things in notebooks and then take those notebooks in public and have your friends read them and then have your friends get really mad at you. Yeah. Okay, I think that's all my thoughts for this book. Can't wait to see Kayla's pick at the end of the month for August and I'll see you guys later. Have a good weekend. Bye!